south end of Las Vegas over by Chevron which is the uh, entrance to Red Rock Canyon if we head out to the left here and that's going to take us over the hill over the mountain to Pahrump and uh, lots of people know that area that's famous for cheap hotels and very expensive women because that's where the brothels are at so uh, and then if we start heading out this way this is on Blue Diamond Road this takes us back into the city we're going to take a little detour we're going to head right out into Red Rock Canyon so hopefully our traffic lights not too bad here today Gary is right next to me on his Harley and uh, so we'll have a little bit of view going into the sun. I apologize for that. And then it'll get really, really nice as we get the sun at our backs. And uh, we start cruising through Red Rock Canyon. So our, our destination is going to be a little town uh, called Calico Basin, which is right past the main entrance into uh, the Red Rock Canyon Scenic Loop, which you need to make a reservation for. They do charge for that. And I believe it is a... Um, uh, it's not state, I'm pretty sure it's federal. I think it's uh, National Park. And so uh, it's a beautiful ride through there. Uh, I'm not gonna go through there today because today is Thanksgiving and we're taking a nice little Thanksgiving day ride. As you can see, it is a beautiful, you can see on my dash right here, 67 degrees out on Thanksgiving in here in Las Vegas. And we're in for a really nice little short ride. Not too long today, but it's gonna be a real nice ride. Hopefully we don't get too bogged down by traffic. Sometimes the cars and the tourists come through here and they drive really slow. And it is a really nice ride. As you can see, the mountains out here are gorgeous. And uh, yeah, so we're in for like a really, really big treat today. So as we start to come into Red Rock here. There's going to be a few little places we're going to pass. It'll be some points of interest, I suppose. That'll be talk about that in a little bit. Our first little point of interest is my favorite part. Not really, actually. It's a cattle guard, which they uh, use. Keep, there is wild cattle that kind of roams through here. You see a lot of burrows actually out here, and there's signs up. They'll tell you not to feed them because they don't want them wandering into the road. We used to have a lot of problems with burrows wandering into the road out here because people would feed them and then you wouldn't see them especially at night and you'd hit them and you would kill them and you would kill yourself and uh, that's no fun so um, so they have cattle guards out here just to kind of make sure they kind of regulate that a little bit although early in the morning you'll sometimes on the mountains out here see bighorn sheep roaming around which is actually really cool because they come down to a feed in the early in the mornings it's always kind of interesting so I always joke about this cattle guard how much I hate it and here's some cyclists on the left here um, but I hate this cattle guard so much because it's uh, it's on a curve, it's on a curve, you know, and it's metal on a curve on a motorcycle, and eh, not a good combination. So I always kind of take it easy as we come right through here, and then I'll pick up the speed a little bit right after the, the cattle guard. I'll just kind of upright the bike a little bit so we're not totally on the curve. There we go, and now we can pick it up a little bit. Out here is a mine. I don't know what they mine out here. I think it's gypsum. There's a lot of weird things they mine out here, out in outside of Las Vegas. Uh, from gravel to gypsum to all kinds of different minerals. Mining is a really big deal in Nevada, so you'll see mines all over the place, especially if you're wandering outside the city. There's actually some mines inside the city, too. You just got to know where to look for them, which is kind of interesting, um, that have been around for a very, very long time. And as we start to come around, it's a, a beautiful little ride through here. The first place we're going to hit up here, not too far from here, about a mile down the road, is a place called Blue Diamond. And they named Blue Diamond Road after it, which is what we just came off of. And Blue Diamond's a little town. I don't know what the population is. It's a pretty small town. And uh, they have like a little cafe and a bike shop out there. It's a beautiful little little area, just as like a quick little rest stop. But they do have a little cafe out there that has good brunches and whatnot. We've gone out there many times for rides. So as we take our corner to the left here, and you'll start to see some of the trees. You know, it, it is late November which in Las Vegas is kind of our autumn. You know, most of the country is freezing right now and, you know, we're showing it's, you know, 60 degrees out now. It gets a little chillier out as we kind of climb in elevation, but this is like our autumn. And so, you know, the leaves sometimes will change on some of the trees out here right about now. Uh, my wife always jokes that uh, you can always tell Las Vegas is really in winter time when the mulberry trees dump their leaves and that's usually late November, early December. So um, I have a feeling we're in for a warm winter this year. We've, we've had some cold ones, but this is going to be a nice one, I think. So right over to the left is Blue Diamond. It's our that little town I mentioned earlier. And uh, 
everything's nice and quiet today. I'm on my Goldwing, which is a nice quiet riding bike. If you hear any engine sounds, it's probably from Gary. I, my hang, club's hang around here. He's riding on his Harley next to me. And so it's time to take our nice little sweeping curve right here. Beautiful. And definitely the road needs a little bit of work. It's a little bumpy today. It's kind of tricky out here because this is like that one part of the valley that gets a lot of you know really dramatic weather changes from snow in the winter sometimes to you know extreme heat in the summer so it's kind of torture on roads out here so yeah there's a sign for a gypsum mine so i guess they do mine gypsum out here not a lot of people out today usually this ride especially on the weekends is extremely busy a lot of the rental companies, uh, car rental companies, especially with the exotic cars and, and even motorcycles, they tell them to come out here because it's a really nice ride. It's a beautiful drive and it's a good way to get out of the city. So, you know, for people that are coming into Las Vegas as tourists, it's a really good destination to come out here a little bit and, and kind of see what is not Las Vegas. A lot of people assume Las Vegas is all about hotels and casinos and you know now we're the home for major sporting events we've got the las vegas golden knights hockey team which is an nhl team we've got the las vegas raiders which is um are now our our uh, you know professional football team so if you're in the nfl that's where the raiders are and we're looking to get uh, uh baseball soon i guess the a's have just announced that they're going to be moving in here and we just got through wrapping up last week with formula one so it was our first year for having formula one back in las vegas it was originally here back in the early 80s um, just north of Caesars Palace, but that was kind of a flop. This, this race this year was a really, really big deal. And while it was a huge inconvenience for the city, it really was a, a pretty exciting race. And a lot of people that uh, when I came out to it were huge fans of it. Um, they say there were over 300,000 people in attendance of that race. It was a, a really big deal. And uh, you know, definitely put us on the map as far as uh, you know, motorsports. But uh, in addition to that, we also have NASCAR in our, we have a huge uh, speedway just north of Las Vegas and there's a really neat uh, place for NASCAR races and they do drag races out there They even have a motorcycle track. It's very cool. So, you know, Las Vegas is quickly becoming a, a big powerhouse for for professional sports and As you can see on the left over here, it's uh, beautiful the mountains out here I'm trying to catch it a little bit during the golden hour right during sunset And so you'll see a lot of really, you know, the, the pretty mountains out here just all the different bands and colors and whatnot That's why they call it Red Rock But on my left there used to be a place called Bonnie Springs. It was a place called Old Nevada. And it was kind of like a little Wild West town. Good tourist place. You know, you go out there, they have shootouts in the street and, you know, that kind of thing. There was a restaurant there and a uh, petting zoo and whatnot. It was very cool. Um, I remember going out there when I was very young and it was it was really kind of neat. And they closed it up a couple years ago. It was kind of a bummer. A lot of people liked going out there. Uh, good little destination place for locals and tourists. And I don't know what they're developing into it now. There's been a lot of rumors, but uh, it seems like whatever they're doing out there, it's kind of moving pretty slow. And over here on the left here, you can see this is uh, all these cars are parked. This is a trailhead. There's a lot of hiking that goes on out here. So rock climbers and hikers, they'll park at these different parking lots that they have designated for the trailheads. And they'll go right out in the mountains there. And, you know, go in the morning, come back at night. And a lot of people like to come out here and hike. And this is kind of what I was a little concerned with here. As you can see, now traffic is kind of bottlenecked up a little bit. People tend to drive a little slower than normal out here just so they can kind of soak up the scenery a bit. And you can't really blame them, I guess. It's really pretty outside, especially on a day like this. And right out here is a trailhead to Oak Creek Canyon. It's a beautiful canyon if you ever go hiking out there. It's uh, got some really neat areas of uh, hiking, a lot of boulders out there. You uh, can kind of do a lot of boulder hopping if you're into that. Pretty cool. Normally if this was one car, I'd probably pass them, but with traffic coming, you, you get a high degree of traffic out here and you have very little passing distances over here because of the, the curves and whatnot. There's some hikers there on the left. As we 
already start crumbing back, coming back into the area here. You'll see coming up right ahead of us is uh, more of what people come out here for, for Red Rock Canyon. You can actually see and there are the, the actual Red Rocks out there, the big, huge mountains. And the, uh, the Red Rock Scenic Loop is right out in the midst of all of that. If you're ever coming to Las Vegas, or even if you're a local here, it's, it's really worth coming out to go check that out. It's a beautiful drive. If you're on a motorcycle, it's even better. And uh, just a great, great little piece of riding out here. There's a bicyclist on the right here. You see a lot of these people come out here. As far as we're not seeing more of it, actually, um, especially on the weekends, you'll see people riding, you know, cycles out here, you know, just regular bikes out here all the time. I mean, you'll see dozens and dozens of them. And you can see there, there was a big sign that said, don't feed the horses and burros. There's a $500 fine, and they really mean it. So yeah, it's really bad for the animals and you know, it's bad for the cars too. There's a couple guys on bikes, cool, hey. And right up here is a scenic overlook. And uh, it's a great place to get some photos and take a quick break, there's restrooms up here. Good spot, we're not gonna stop there, but yeah, great little place to kind of stop if you need to. The next landmark we're going to pass is going to be the entrance to Red Rock Canyon, where the scenic loop is. And like I said, it's closed today, but uh, we'll, we'll be passing that. here unfortunately we had some kind of a sad story we had uh, I saw a father and son go down right on this curve once they were riding through here and they were riding parade style and uh, one person on the outside just ran out of out of road and just kind of went off road and dumped his bike it was very sad to see it was about 10 years ago and they had to airlift him out of there so hello so you know even when you know the roads out here you still have to have respect for them and take good care when you're riding and ride as safe as you can. You'll occasionally see cars like this parked a little off on the side of the road. They're out there taking pictures usually. The nice thing about out here, they, they have really wide shoulders on the road, so you'll see a lot of people pull over from time to time just to get photos and videos and stuff. So that's kind of the exit over there to the scenic loop and up ahead is the entrance to it. There's kind of a Red Rock Canyon sign. A lot of people go out there to take photos. There's another one right on the other side here about a mile up the road. A lot of people go out there and take photos of that. Gary is behind me. He is. He's doing good. He's on a smaller bike, but he's a strong rider, so he, he rides really well. And just more uh, of the majesty of Southern Nevada. You know, again, everybody kind of assumes everything about Las Vegas is all about gambling and hotels and everything, but there's so many beautiful places to go and drive to and ride to. It's, it's a great place for that. Hello. 
And uh, the nice part is so many things are so close to the city. So this is the Calico Basin right here. And we're going to come to a little stop, wait for some traffic. <clears throat> kind of overshot my exit there, but that's okay. And yeah, you can see how pretty this is out here. So where the scenic loop is in Red Rock, this is on the opposite side of the mountains of it. So my biggest fear is we're going to get to the end here, and there's actually a park at the end. It's a very large parking lot, and there's a, a scenic boardwalk that you can walk around. It's beautiful. They do weddings and whatnot out there. Um, it's really, really nice little walk, and uh, gets you right up on the mountain's edge, and you can see like Native Amer American carvings in the rocks and stuff that are very old. It's, it's a neat little area out here. And again, a lot of hiking. That's why you're seeing all the cars. This little town of Calico Basin, um, there's a very small handful of people that live out here, but it's a lot of ranches and uh, people that just want to have a little more quiet part of this, you know, the area without having to live in Las Vegas. And, you know, how can you beat this view, especially when you wake up in the morning, right? And occasionally I've been out here and you'll see people on horseback and that kind of thing. Again, it's just a gorgeous area through here. Probably most people have uh, lived here their whole lives in Las Vegas and never even knew little places like this even exist. Which is kind of a shame because there's so many great places to visit out here. So we're going to go on up ahead. It looks like the park is open, which is good. No, can't really tell for sure. And it looks like it is. I don't know what everybody's doing out here, but... All right, so here we are. Beautiful Calico Basin uh, park area here. Ah, a lot of people out today. So we're going to go around and uh, park on the opposite side. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Nothing too fancy or complicated, but we just want to get a little little ride in and, uh, you know, have a little day of our Thanksgiving trip coming in through uh, Red Rock Canyon. So, yeah, it's definitely busy out here today. Definitely we weren't the only ones with this idea. We'll find a place. You know, the nice thing about motorcycles is it's really easy to park places. So, yeah, definitely not going to be a problem. So we'll go up here by this bus. We'll park right up on the edge here where nobody's going to bother us. Yep, got to love motorcycles. All right, this is Picasso with the Eagle Riders MC, and we're checking out, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.